In this video, we are going to take a look at development and requirements and the base project. Now, just as a quick overview, requirements, you're going to need to have a development machine running Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, really generally anything that's going to support the Java JDK, which are typically going to be one of the three above. And then I am going to be working with Java 11 or higher. Right now, Java 11 is just came out and I've upgraded my system and development environment to Java 11 and you are going to need the JDK installed. Now the examples should work on Java 8. I expect there might be some minor modifications, especially in Maven. Not 100% sure, but I'm not going to be using any Java 9, 10, or 11 specific features, so we're going to keep things pretty simple. So if you only have Java 8 installed and you're comfortable with it, I think you're going to be okay using uh, Java 8. Now I'm saying Maven 3.5.2 or higher, that's the version that I'm running on. That is a little dated. It's a little old, but almost time for me to upgrade and go to a higher Maven release. But I'm doing that for compatibility with other things I have running locally on my system. And I'm going to include a Maven wrapper too, so you'll be able to use that. Now the IDE to use, I'm going to be using IntelliJ Ultimate. I do recommend that for what we're doing, especially in this section, uh, the community edition of IntelliJ is going to be fine. Our Eclipse will work fine. Both of those are going to support everything that we need to do. Some of the, the smaller IDEs should also be able to handle tests. I don't know about the full support of um, JUnit 5 and some of the smaller IDEs, but IntelliJ has supported JUnit 5 for a long time, and that is supported in both Ultimate and the community edition. So either one is going to be fine there. And so we are going to be building off of Maven. So if you're IDE supports Maven and JUnit 5, you will be fine there. So this is the GitHub repository that we are going to be working with. This uh, You'll find a link to this in the uh, course resources, so we'll be able to link to this. And I'm going to use a branching strategy, so right now this is a very empty project. I'm going to jump over to IntelliJ and show you that. So this is a project, uh, TDD by example. You can see that I have checked out into my local workspace. And right now, there's really nothing in there. This is the Maven standard file structure. And we can see that it, I have source main, the main Java code. So I'll be putting the, the main source files there. And then under test, this is where the tests are going to go. And I have a very light palm here. And inside this palm, you can see that I have two JUnit dependencies. And then... I've also set the language level for Java to 11. So if you're going to be using something less than 11, that's one thing you'll have to change. And then down here, the compiler plugin and the versions, this is important as far as the Surefire and Failsafe plugins you want to be running on 2.22.0 or higher. These are the versions that do have the JUnit 5 support built in. If you're running lower, there's additional configuration steps that you have to have. And in this piece here, um, I'm not 100% sure if that's needed, this legal access permit. I found this for as a requirement for Java 11 and Maven, so that was a recommended configuration. So I'm not 100% sure that it needs to be there. So I did find that a little bit odd. But we definitely do need that version to be there for JUnit support. So going forward, what I will be doing is I'm going to be establishing a new branch for each lesson, and then we'll be adding to that branch and building from there. So this is the, you can see down in the lower right-hand corner, I do have the Git master checked out. So this is a master branch at this point in time, at the point of recording, there is only one branch in the repository. You can see that the project is completely empty. But as we progress through this section of the course, we will be adding in additional branches and uh, code examples as we evolve our money example using test-driven development. 